Today is the day where our Minecraft World Kingdom here will be complete. This is called Blossom Valley and we've been playing in this world for almost a year now. And I love it so much but I'm starting to run out of things to do because I've pretty much done everything I planned on. We're almost at 2000 days, I've almost built everything I want to and I think we'll be doing a world tour if that's something you guys want. But other than that we're going to use today to finish off this world. I don't even know where to start, um, I guess our map needs an update and it needs this building added to it. Okay, perfect, there it is. I think that the zoo is pretty much complete, we have all of our animals in here and we had a weird chunk over here that reset at one point so I've been trying to fix that. Oh, we still have to do the fish pond. Okay, so we need to get some tropical fish and we have one more friend to add to the zoo. Mr. Bones! He's been tied up at our skeleton farm, except he keeps getting loose. Wait, that's not what I was trying to do. So we're going to ride him over to the petting zoo to live with the other horses. Does anyone want to pet something that's just bones? I don't know, but if they want to, he's going to be there. Can we get you in this way? Oh, there we go. Mr. Bones, meet Nameless and Nameless. Well, that's that done. Okay, now let's sort out our fish pond and then we'll do our final builds. We're gonna need to go get more tropical fish for the pond and we should have a bunch of buckets in- oh <laughs> there's not a single bucket in here. I've been using them for the lava but obviously not bringing them back. Maybe somewhere here? Oh there we go. And the rest are filled with lava so we'll make a couple more. Okay, I see my first fish and I want to test something out here. I feel like I should already know this, but I'm not sure if the fish stay the same once they enter the bucket and then leave it. Does that even make sense? I don't know. Like, if I put this little guy in my pond, is he still going to be red and white? Oh, he is. Okay. I don't know why I thought that might not have been the case. Oh, I want the clownfish. Clownfish. Eh. Let's just test it again to make sure. I think maybe it's because all of these... A clownfish? Oh, yes! Oh, he's so cute. Wait, let me get you. It does actually say clownfish and emperor red snapper. Okay, I'm really not sure why I thought that then. This is a... wait, snooper. <laughs> we have a snapper and a snooper. While we're here, we'll also get some of this for the pond. And maybe a kelp and a coral and one of the light thingies. We should get a puffer fish. Ah, got him. Okay, and I think we are ready to go. Well, it seems we're within poisoning range, so, oh, that's annoying. Don't come for me. Oh, look, it's so cute though. Well, anyway, that is the fish pond done, or should I say redone? Now I want to switch tasks and do some building in an area that I seem to have neglected this entire series. This is our starter house from episode 1 and right since the beginning we've had this area around here. And we use this as a fishing dock and it's a really sad fishing dock. I mean the dock's cute but there's nothing else going on here. So I've marked out a spot and I want to make a little fishing hut. Basically the purpose is that when we're fishing here we have somewhere to go at night to put our loot and sleep. And we don't have to go all the way over there. I also want to do something with this island. I think I'd like to make a lighthouse. So we either need to make this bigger or maybe get rid of it and put the lighthouse over there. I'm not sure yet. I don't want it to be too intrusive on our fishing zone. Oh, here's something else that never got done. Oops. I think when I made this, I probably didn't actually have much wood. And now we have pretty much endless dark oak. Anyway, let's go grab some building blocks and we'll build this little hut. Okay, so it's, you can't really see it, it's looking like this. She's just a cute little cottage on the waterfront. And I think to join it up with everything, we need to extend this path to come up around here. Something like this. And it can go all the way to the dock. 
And now with our little path done, we need to do the inside. It's very little, we'll start by lighting it up. And since the purpose is to sleep in here and have fishing storage, we need to go get a bed and some barrels. Maybe we'll make the inside kind of blue and teal themed, like the ocean. Um, I kind of want a cyan bed. Let's see, is that a thing we can have? Oh, it is. Easy. And we can make item frames to hold some of our good fishing loot, such as a nautilus shell and, oh, we need a fishing rod to keep there. Yes, we have heaps and this is the good one. And we're done. This is our perfect functional little fishing hut. Also, I think I figured out what we're gonna do with this little island. I feel like it's not quite big enough for a lighthouse, but it's perfect to grow a mushroom on. I was using it just before to get some moss for the roof and I was thinking it'd look really cute as a little lush mossy island with a mushroom. Oh, ow. <laughs> okay, this is smaller than I was picturing. You know what? It's fine. And then we will increase the moss. Increase moss and add flowers. Very cute. And the lighthouse can go either over there or over there. But before we do that, I want to get started on something that can be going in the meantime, which is villager breeding. So we will need carrots. <gasps> Hello bunnies. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Why are there so many of you in here? It's like they get trapped. We have a kind of villager breeder across here, but I haven't used it for ages. It's in this building. It's where the farmers live and they have this little farm area and I've disabled them from using this so that they don't make even more villages. But I think what I would like to end Blossom Valley with is having a lot of villagers just kind of wandering around. So hopefully, we'll just toss these to you. They will start the breeding process in here. Oh my gosh, I just noticed there's more up here. Okay, we already have quite a few villagers. What are you guys doing? Anyway, while we're building the lighthouse, they can make more babies and we can leave them around Blossom Valley. I feel like the final version of this place will just be way more lively if it's bustling with people, instead of just me and the occasional cat and the occasional golem. And in the meantime, let's gather resources and build this lighthouse. And we have entered the nether because we need something for the light on the lighthouse. So it'll be either glowstone or shroom lights. For most things, I prefer shroom lights. Oh, I think we found some glowstone. Don't mind the awkward flying. Yeah, this texture's kind of obnoxious, but it'll be partially covered with colored glass. Is this really the first time I've had a glowstone block in this world? I guess it is. Okay, I think this is surely enough. And we can follow our handy dandy new trail back home. We have most of the rest of our resources collected and they're in here. We're gonna try something a little weird with this lighthouse. And I have not pre-planned this, so if it looks weird, we'll just fix it on the spot. But I wanna try and make a striped lighthouse. I've already done a white and red one in another world, so I thought I would stick with the theme of this world and go for something a little bit different. We're gonna make an amethyst lighthouse. Amethyst and white stripes, and we're gonna do it over here. I think this is a suitable spot because this is kind of the way that anyone would come into Blossom Valley through the ocean. There's heaps of water going in this direction, but there's no point in having it anywhere else because this just kind of loops around. And we'll start by designing it pretty similarly to the one I already did in a hardcore world. We'll do mostly stone brick for the base, but also we'll have it looking a little more weathered towards the bottom. So basically mostly cobble and mossy stone. Kind of like the ocean hits it and wears it away and then it gets cleaner as we go up. Okay, that is the stone base done. And next we have the moment I've been waiting for where we get to see how we do with white and amethyst stripes. Okay, that's two layers of white, and then we'll do two layers of amethyst. And then repeat until we get to the light and the roof part.
Okay, we are nearly done with the lighthouse. It was looking very stark with these amethyst and white stripes, so I decided to make it a little overgrown. Let's have a proper look. So I added vines and leaves and the vines are kind of going all over the place, but it also looks kind of nice. I also tried adding, oh, one of them's completely hidden. There's an amethyst crystal here and one up the top somewhere. And I think I like them as the occasional decoration as well, but I only had two left. So we're going to grab a couple more from our local geode, which is down here. A wee! That should do it. I made a simple little interior as well. So down here we've got some kind of dining table meeting area. And then upstairs for whoever looks after the lighthouse we have a bedroom. With a bed and some tables and desks. And a lot of overgrown greenery. Oh and a bit of a view although the lanterns kind of block it a little. But I think that is our final build in Blossom Valley. That feels very weird to say. But lastly let's see how our villagers have been breeding. I hope they've been breeding. I did forget- oh gosh, what is this? Oh, oh no, you're not meant to come out. You're one of my good farmers. You're not allowed here. Get in the boat. Okay, I must have left one of the gates open. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Okay, well, I suppose he can live out here because that is the purpose. We are releasing some of them into the streets, like you. Come on. Oh, why are they all in here? The farmers need to get in a boat so that they stay here. And then we'll set the rest of them free. In the boat. In the boat. Okay, a little while later and I think we've done it. Not that you would know it from looking around. Oh, here's a villager. There's mostly a lot of fishermen because we have a lot of barrels. But I think to wind up our world, oh, there's another one there. It makes sense to have villagers around to look more complete and more lived in. And while it's really sad to be leaving this world, I love what we've built. I think this is my favorite world I've ever made. I'm hoping that when 1.20 comes out, we can go on a new series adventure together and this time in the cherry blossom biome. So let me know if you'd like a world tour. I am considering a world download, but I'm not sure yet. That may not happen, but thank you for watching nearly 2000 days of Minecraft with me. I'm going to do one more sleep and I'll see you in the next video, whatever that may be. Goodbye for now.